Not all students have success learning in a classroom. That's why more than 600 students in Kern County have turned to a non traditional school. 23 ABC's Joe Hankey talked to one such student who's getting her high school diploma on Monday. I'm really excited. Yeah, it's been four years of hard work. Words from a soon to be high school graduate. As seniors are graduating this week, Caitlin Oros will have earned her diploma a bit differently than others. I've always had a hard time with all of the um, pressure and stuff from school, and plus with all the crowded classroom settings, it was always really hard for me. Caitlin studied through the California Virtual Academy, or CABA, an online K through 12 curriculum books, with so California credentialed exactly instructors, and as an accredited English, public school, languages. it is Physical tuition courses. free. I wanted a program that was more conducive with my daughter's. Uh, personality. She was very shy, and I seen her struggling. That is why Deneen started looking for another path to graduation. And I don't think she could have done it if she was um, in the traditional school. For Caitlin, online schooling worked. I really, really needed this. I think it was just more for me because everyone's different. And while students like Caitlin have successfully found an education in front of a computer instead of a desk in a classroom, at least one teacher finds teaching through a computer to be just as rewarding as the work she used to do. In front of a blackboard. It's not the face to face, but we still meet with students, you know, in virtual classrooms, and you really can do everything in a virtual classroom that you could do in a traditional classroom. Andrea Hagen taught in Delano before she became a high school guidance counselor with CAVA. A flexible style of learning, but Hagen says it has to fit the student. And sometimes it's not, you know, the right fit for another child, and they might do better in a traditional school setting. An option that worked for Caitlin, who's now looking towards life. After high school, I was thinking um, about maybe going to BC, maybe taking some classes, and I was thinking about becoming a teacher. 